Hello guys and welcome back to episode 9 of the Spring Boot Security course. In the previous episodes we took a look at an unsecure Spring Boot app and today we are going to enable security for the app we saw in the previous episode. And you'll see that it just takes a couple of minutes to do that, it's pretty straightforward, we just need to add a couple of dependencies to our pump file. Uh, before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. I just fired up IntelliJ. We have our unsecure Spring Boot application. It's the one that we took a look at in the previous episode. And now, if you want to add security and to enable like a default security for our app, all that we need to do is we need to add two more dependencies uh, in the POM file. And I'll just copy paste them, okay, from here. Okay, I'll just put a label here, uh, sorry, security, just so they are easier to find. And let's take a look. So we added a, a dependency on Spring Boot Starter Security. And this is the most important thing that you need to do. So just by adding this dependency you already enabled some form of default security to your application and I've also added in an extra dependency for Timeleaf integration so uh, Timeleaf Extras Spring Boot Security 5 uh, is a dependency that will allow us to integrate uh, Spring security features into our Timeleaf templating engine for example imagine that you have a Timeleaf view and you want, for example, to display the name uh, of the authenticated user or if the user is authenticated or you want to display some template if uh, a user has a particular role or a particular authority. Now, these things become trivial uh, once you have uh, Spring Security integrated with Timeleaf and this dependency uh, helps us to achieve that. Now. This is not mandatory, so if you want to just enable security for a Spring Boot app, you just need the Spring Boot Starter Security. But uh, as you've seen in future episodes, we will want to integrate uh, security features with our templating engine. And that's it. So this is everything that you need to do. These are all the security dependencies you need to enable security for your Spring Boot app. Now, in the next episode, we'll see the effect of this dependencies when we try to start our previously unsecure Spring Boot app. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.